Hello friends, welcome back to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In the last tutorial, we have seen how to add a platform for our gameplay. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to add a physics for our game. So, I have balloon and then platform bottom and then platform top and then we have a text. So, I'm just changing the color of a text so that it will make perfect changing to white so now what we are going to do is we are going to add physics so let's begin to start that we, we are going to have a balloon to use the physics we need two components one was collider because we need to check whether it's colliding with the object and then we are going to have rigid body rigid body is nothing but we are going if you are going to add a force for a particular object we should have rigid body so these are the two two basic system we need for our game there are a lot of colliders available for 2d let me show you something that what are the available if you click over here you can see the physics 2d colliders box collider circle collider edge polygon capsule composite disk composite collider so these are the one two three four five six colliders if you need for 3d you can have over here box sphere capsule mesh wheel terrain but we need 2d since we are going doing for 2d game so we are going to use these types of collider for our game depending upon the shapes we are going to use for for example if you have ball mesh you need to use circle so for balloon we are going to have circle collider this map this is a perfect for for the balloon because of its shape it looks it looks like circle after that we are going to have rigid body every col every collider should have a rigid body if i try to add rigid body showing that error because it since we already have circle collider 2d we should need to have rigid body 2d it's not a rigid body because rigid body is used for 3D object so we are going to have rigid body 2D over here that's it if you hit play let's see what happened before that we want to make sure that body type is dynamic and then stimulated yes it should be stimulated and then most maybe we can add around 50 weight of your object and then we can add a radius we can add linear angular duck gravity scale should be one if you have zero it won't move just hit play let's see it should fall down so if you make the gravity scale to zero it don't fall it will remain static so you need to make sure that gravity scale should be one if you reduce a mouse the amount of a speed will be reduced so if you have if i am have mouse to the, the speed will be different so i can show you that later so let's have mouse as 50 so next what we are going to do we, we are since it falling down without affecting anything I am going to stop that over the platform so just go to platform bottom and then add similarly add rigid body 2d and then box collider 2d that's it so let's play if you see the both platform and the balloon are falling we want to make sure that platform should be static not a dynamic one so i am changing changing to static one since it's static it won't rim, it won't fall it should be in same place so i'm just added st static so that's it so to make something realistic we are going to have physics over here to create a 
physics you need to go to game object and then select I'm sorry you need to go to Azot and then select create and then you need to search for physics 2d material click on that after that you have that then rename physics and then just have bones in us how much you need I'm just using 1.12 something like that friction should be 0.3 and then add to platform bottom drag and drop over a material let's see it will reflect something if we hit the platform yeah like this so I'm just reducing bounciness you know because we are going to destroy that after hitting a bottom so I'm just having a little bit it's it that's it it should be a fine let's see in big screen okay so this is fine so these are the basic system we have added some physics over our balloon and over the platform of bottom since we also make sure that we need to have the same rigid body box collider on the platform top because we are going to detect that it should not go over that top so we do the same for the top platform and join going to change a static so we don't need the physics over here because we know we are going to stop over the top so I just have physics over the bottom at not at the top so that's it save the scene so in this video we have seen how to set up the physics system in the next video we are going to do a gameplay like tapping system which we have done in which I have shown in the intro video like this we are going to have the tapping system and also a gameplay score everything so let's see how to do that in next video so thanks for watching and please subscribe for more, more video thank you